Welcome to another video from the InPhase training team. In this video, you'll learn how to troubleshoot the IQ system controller 3 or 3G if it fails to report during or after commissioning. If this issue occurs during the commissioning process, use your multimeter to verify that the IQ system controller is receiving roughly 240 volts AC from the grid side terminals to the load side terminals. If you're not getting any voltage readings, make sure the breaker that's supplying power to the system controller is turned on and also has power. Once voltage has been confirmed, unscrew the metal cover at the top of the system controller using a T20 bit. This will expose the E3 board you'll use for troubleshooting in the next step. Check the E3 board for illuminated LEDs. This will tell you if the E3 board is receiving power or not. If the LEDs don't illuminate, Make sure that the control cables and terminals at the bottom of the, the E3 board are seated correctly. If the cabling is correct, but the IQ system controller stills fails to report, contact Enphase customer support for further troubleshooting instructions. If the system has been commissioned and a new event shows up in the installer portal displaying system controller not reporting, check to verify whether there are additional devices not reporting as well, or if it's isolated to system controller. From the Devices tab, compare the last report date between the IQ Gateway, IQ System Controller, and IQ Battery sections. Verify that the IQ System Controller is the only unit that stopped reporting while the IQ Gateway, IQ Batteries, and PV are currently reporting with caught-up data. If only one unit is affected, the communications board in the combiner box is not the issue, and the issue is isolated to the System Controller. When the IQ system controller stops reporting, the operation mode shows grid mode unknown in the InFace installer app. If this warning shows, check to see if any system parts are missing or look damaged. Make sure that the control cable is properly connected to the IQ system controller as well. If the site is using the Counts Kit 2 product, first verify if the Communications Kit 2 is receiving power. There should be zero volts from the control cable pin 3 to the ground wire. Make sure that the control cable terminals are wired correctly. Any device designated as the end node will require the terminating resistor. If the IQ system controller is an end node, verify that the terminating resistor has the correct resistance. There's a link to a video on how to test the resistor in the video description below. Remember to make sure that the drain wire is terminated at only one end of the cable segment. If everything looks correct at this point, power cycle the system controller. Make sure you inform the homeowner that they'll lose power during this process. Once you've power cycled the system controller, open the installer app and navigate to the site. Tap on the sections with the devices and scroll down to the system controller section. Tap on that section and scroll to the bottom. Tap the retire button. Once that device is retired, re-add the device and reprovision. If the device fails to provision, contact customer support for further troubleshooting. There you have it. Now you know the steps to take to resolve the issue when IQ system controller 3 or 3G stops reporting. Thanks again for watching another video from the InPhase training team.